Okay, guys, on this class, I'm going to talk, as I told you before, about the three softwares that you can use as uh, to make drop shipping on eBay on these days without the need to connect to the API of eBay. So eBay will not have a chance to notice that you are making drop shipping. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, the first one that we got is DropX. OK. I just use this software very like for a little time just to make sure, you know that just to check how did they work and and it's quite interesting in the way that it's really really what you can do is just check for your for your okay let me show you yeah you just this is for an example for an example from AliExpress. You find an item on AliExpress, and there is there will be once you install this application, there will be like a an icon, like a like a message that you will see on every item on your suppliers. I think they just handle suppliers. Uh, I think they just handle with uh, AliExpress as supplier. I'm not really sure. But yeah, the, the important thing is that they don't use API connection, okay? That's the very important thing. And I'm not sure how many suppliers they use, but I think they are very little for now because they just launched this uh, application this year, okay? They are from Israel. And it's very interesting because when, once you click on that button on the on the product page, it will open a new eBay listing page for you where all the data from this product will be load, automatically load for you, okay? So it's like you are listing, you are manually listing a, an, a product on, on your eBay shop, okay? But they just load every information for you to just be able, you know, to review every information and then click on submit and have your listing uh, listed on your shop very, in a very fast way, okay? That is, this is a very interesting method that I was using. The problem about this software and or the disadvantage about this software is that uh, the suppliers in the first case, I think they just handle uh, this application with AliExpress as supplier. I don't, I'm not really sure if they handle this with Amazon, but I know they do it. Ah, well, yeah. AliExpress, Amazon, Banggood and more. Well, not really more. I think these are the the suppliers that you can use for now. So for those that are only interested in wholesaler suppliers, they shall know that this uh, application also works with Banggood, okay? And also works with Amazon. So it's kind of interesting, especially because they are going to charge $20 and they got no limits which is amazing there is, there is no other application on on the internet that uses this method okay they they just charge a fixed price per month which is 20 dollars and you have unlimited listings you are not going to find that option in the other softwares for sure okay the other softwares they always charge you depending on how many listings you have in your in your shop you know what i mean for example, AutoDS that we are going to check later, okay? AutoDS offers 100 products for $8 and then 400 products for $16. And the more products you want to add on your eBay shop, the more you will be paying for the software, all right? But this is not the case on DropX. So it's a very interesting option, yes, but it still got a big disadvantage. The big disadvantage is the monitor of the listings. Once you list your items on eBay, what happens if those items uh, change the price on supplier on the suppliers what if the price just increased or what if the price just decreased or what if the item goes out of stock you know you need a software who who makes this repricing things and who who just set the quantity to zero on your ebay shop when the item is out of stock on the supplier okay you need some software to me to be making these things automatic way well the thing with this software is that it's not so automatic you will be needing to download a file a csv file 
from the software every day or every time that you have to that you want to update your inventory you will have to download the I, the, the file from here from this dropx software and then you will have to go to ebay to upload that file in the csv file exchange application on ebay which is something that uh, is exactly the same as as schoolgrid and autodesk do but it's just that they make it in a more automatic way so it it, it looks like uh that's why they uh, this you know application is very cheap because it's kind of a pain in the ass to be updating your inventory on yeah sign up for file exchange yeah this is your file exchange center on ebay and and you will have to be coming here every day or uh, not every day but every time you want to up, uh, update your inventory and you know what you better be updating your inventory because if not your items in the suppliers they will go out of out of stock they will increase the price or whatever and when you sell an item on your shop on ebay okay you may be selling the the item on your shop but then you come to the supplier and you just find out oops it's out of stock how the hell can i purchase this product now and send it to the customer well you will have to deal with that and that is uh, one of the problems that i that we deal with in our customer service course but as i said it's kind of a pain in the ass for this software to be doing this kind of updating inventory and monitor listings okay and that's why i just discard this i just get discarded this op option even if it's, if it is tentative because of the price but i just discard it because it's like a yeah really painful to be updating your listings on your inventory on ebay okay so we are going to talk now about the second option which is school grid school grid is one of the oldest applications all the one of the oldest softwares used to make drop shipping on ebay they even have a, a way to make drop shipping on amazon too and shopify woocommerce yeah everything i just have used uh, this software on ebay it starts with 14 15 dollars per month for 200 listings yeah 200 up to 200 items it is a good software especially and i will tell you that the big advantage of this software is the suppliers the supply the list of suppliers that you can use with this software it's huge it's totally huge you can almost use every supplier on the website and, and i think they even launch a new a new feature on this software that allows you to list an item from even suppliers that are not on the on this list so if you are a seller that that it's more concerned about finding products that nobody can no, nobody else can offer if you're a seller that don't want to play drop shipping on Amazon or the normal, the current, the normal, the biggest market mar marketplaces, but you still want to find weird suppliers, odd suppliers that nobody else use, then this is the software that you're looking for. You know, it's still kind of a pain in the ass for some things. You know, the monitor they make the monitor. Uh, in an automatic way in the way that you don't need to you know in like in dropx you don't need to download these csv files to update it update them update them on your shop on ebay it will do automatically it will yeah it will automatically do all of this for you yes that is true but school grid is still a pain in the ass in some ways for example when you want to remove items from your from your shop you will have to make sure that you delete these items also on a school grid because if not these items will be relisted in your shop and you can you know go over your free listing so you you will be paying yeah it happened to me i just had to pay a lot of money because school grid, school grid just kept listing items on my on my shop in an automatic way and i just found out i had to pay a lot of money to ebay okay so that is a problem that i had to face with school grid and there is um some more issues for, like for example when you make a sale on your ebay shop normally you will be offering uh, you will have only one one quantity of the item that you are selling okay you will be selling one item and it will say on the quantity on the available quantity will say one 
If you sell this item, it will the quantity will go to zero. Nobody updates this quantity. It won't happen in DropX and it won't happen in School Grid. Okay, this quantity will not be updated because um, this is not connected to the API. It, it works different with AutoDS, and that's why I finally chose this option. But yeah, this is another problem that you can face with School Grid. Okay, it will not be automatically updating quantities of the items when you sell them so you will have to come every time that you sell an item you will have to come here and update the quantity from zero to one and that's kind of a pain in the ass too okay it's a really really good and interesting software but it's a old style software and i am not a big fan of this because i still make drop shipping from retailers like amazon like walmart and those retailers uh, can be used in in every software that makes uh, that helps you make drop shipping okay so i would recommend you this software for you yes but only only if you are interested on in searching for suppliers that nobody else used, okay? If you are this kind of person who try to look for suppliers that nobody else is going to use because there are, you know, many suppliers that nobody else is going to be checking, okay? Then yes, then I recommend you to use this software even if it's a little bit more expensive than AutoDS, okay? But finally, and we are going to come to talk about AutoDS, which is the software that we are going to use. First uh, point, why we are using this software on this course? Why I want you to, to describe on how to install, how to set up this software for you to use? Because in the first case, AutoDS was a normal software who was connected to the API on eBay. But now they launch an, a non-API version, okay? So in the first case, I like this software because it has a, yeah, well, it has a Chrome extension too, of course, in order to deal with this stuff. We will see that about that in the next section. But I chose this uh, software because it was the last updated software. It was this, this version of the, this non-API version was launched like one or two months ago. Okay. It's been tested since, since then. My colleagues has been testing it. My partners has been testing it too. And we all come to the conclusion that this is the best software to use at the moment. Okay. So this is the software that I'm going to explain in this, in the next section. And yes, the reason why I choose this software is because I still can play with my suppliers. I don't know the full list of suppliers. Ah, yes, I know the full list. I will show you in the next class. I think it's uh, Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, uh, Overstock, Banggood, and some others, but I don't remember all of them. It doesn't have many suppliers, but it's a really good option because it automates everything about, you know, repricing your items, about out of stock issues, and it's just make everything in a more automatic way. And, and I bet that's the way you are looking for, right? Something more automatic, something that you don't really need to care a lot okay so it has an interesting option to start for one dollar on the first month and you will be paying eight dollars per month after that for 100 products okay which is the the quantity that you are going to start with right you will be starting with a, a free option of 50 items or 100 items if you want to uh, pay for the store sub subscription okay so if you pay for your store subscription you will have up to 100 listings on I on ebay so it's the same that you can be using on auto ds and i will show you in the next section why is the software that we choose to make drop shipping on ebay well, on this class, guys, I just wanted to tell you about another option that you have because on this course, we are going to explain how to make drop shipping from retailers from like uh, Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot. Okay. But uh, as a seller, you still have many options to make drop shipping. Okay. You, you could choose a lot of different suppliers. And there is a thing about eBay policies, you know, if eBay ever, um, 
if if you are doing something something like something bad on the customer service, maybe you have uh, too many cases, uh, too many of these cases open with customers. Uh, eBay could trigger uh, some kind of a restriction into your account, and they will be checking your account to see that uh, you are making legitimate move movings, legitimate sales. You know, making sure that you are not making. Um, retailer drop shipping or things like that you could still convince them that the these items are yours that this is your inventory you are not getting these items from others and i will explain how but there are many other sellers who still choose to go for the legitimate way they choose to go and only use wholesalers as suppliers what is the difference well the difference is that a wholesaler is uh, you are allowed to resell, according to this, to the eBay policy, you are allowed to resell from wholesalers, even, and you can even tell eBay about that, you know, you can, you can discuss this with them, and they will be fine with that. And what are the wholesalers that I want you to, rec that I wanted to recommend to you? Okay, in the next class, we are going to see the softwares that you can use, and depending on the software, uh, each software has a different different suppliers available okay to monitor listings but if you want to make a wholesaler uh, plan you you know or if you want to resell items from homes for from wholesalers and not doing from amazon or walmart or home depot even if, if even if you can because you can do it i i am i do that you know and i think it's it's a, it's a way to make dropshipping business, okay, and it's perfectly fine. If you still want to go for the wholesaler thing, you I could recommend you to use uh, Banggood. Uh, China Brands. And what else? China Brands, Banggood, uh, Wayfair. These are three examples of wholesalers that have U.S. warehouses, okay? And they're still very, very interesting, you know, especially for prices that are, you know, not that much high. These suppliers normally offer prices, offer, you know, they offer products that are with very cheap prices, okay? So at the beginning, as a new seller, they, you could be interested in this. But I just wanted to let you know about these uh, three wholesalers who are very interesting. And eBay will be fine, even if they discover that you are making drop shipping, they will be fine with that. If you are doing drop shipping from these wholesale from wholesalers like Banggood, from wholesalers like China Brands, or like Wayfair.com, okay. And they will be fine with that. It's just that, you know, it's not, this is not Amazon. You will not be getting as much sales as if you use Amazon or Walmart or Home Depot as, as suppliers. And there is still many good options from using that, that retailers. And I will show you why. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know about this second option that you may take. Uh, in order to sell on eBay, but we will not do that on this course. We will just follow the traditional way to dropship from uh, retailers or marketplaces like Amazon, like Walmart, like Home Depot. Okay, that's all.